My friends, welcome back. We are playing as the United Federation of Planets. Our last episode, we integrated the Denoblin, or Denoblin, now and now the Ferengis way. are giving away. They are giving away their stuff. Uh, this is so against the rules of acquisition. I don't think that's going to be uh, flying anyways. Uh, let's take a quick look on where to go. So... We are going to be upgrading all of our stations. I want on to upgrade until we can actually get a second fleet. I think it's going to be extremely important that we do. Ah, it's going to be a long road. Uh, this construction ship is not doing anything. Which is so far okay. What the hell is in there? There's a mega structure in here. Uh, apparently this is the Galactic Forum. Interesting. We are lacking... Uh, the Duranium Plate, but we're making eight of them. Can, can we buy those? Can we buy those now? Oh, yes, we can. That's absolutely horribly expensive. Let's not. Let's not for now. Uh, for now, we are going to be... The, the, this one is going to be the last one I want to upgrade because it doesn't do us anything. Uh, the Pajem... And this star base, and uh, once this one's done as well, then the the anchoring. I think I can upgrade all of them. Okay, well then again, then forget what I said. I'm going to upgrade all of them at once. That's fine. All of them get an upgrade. We'll have to take a good look at this uh, this one station. And we need to make sure that our colonies are... You have nothing. Your commercial, we desperately need commercial. You are doing an excellent job. Look, jar-based production is 6, but it produces 25, which makes no sense to me. Someone explain it to me. I don't want to have this on one of my planets. To get you going. You're also commercial and you have a job available. Yeah, we, we do need a lot more power. Or actually a lot more energy. Did anything change? Do we have new planets that we didn't uh, have beforehand? How are you guys? Inferior. Uh, we could, can we demand vesselization? That would be something. Like, I don't want to go to war. You see, that, that's not a Federation way in my mind. In my mind, the Federation is peaceful and loving. So going to war would be just not going to work so we have two specialist jobs available we also have four jobs available and i would have expected that there are specialist jobs available but they're not hmm. these are specialist jobs doctors let's take it at least they will stop complaining yeah we, we, we did this planetary thing is going to be quite huge though now, if we notice that too much are getting into the stockpile, we'll have to close that down. A bizarre gamer has got the arrested development. That's great. That's so nice when you are doing this name thing, right? Where everyone that has done a common in the past will get its own character. If they get bad traits, you can't get rid of them. Because it would be disrespectful. Uh, we're going to get this. Whoa! Well, it's a good thing that you are going to be a trade depot because next trade depot will probably get a 17 in trade value. Which is extremely nice. Let's see if it takes him. Yep, there you go. Next tick, this should go up. No, it's not. Okay, that's fine. Who am I talking, right? Uh, we got four latinum. Four latinum. I'm sure we can do something with latinum. Latinum for the, f for the win, I guess. Um, the upkeep should be latinum. Let's see. 
yeah, there we go. Like, the trading center would be quite nice, since we do have a lot of platinum. And that would be a flat 22. And here we go, we are starting with the, the dreams of a blue planet on Mars, so that's great. Um, once a planet does have some unemployment, like the specialists. This is job, doctor's jobs, mate. Just Survey. Yeah, there you go. You should not be pissed off. Let's take a quick look. Let's upgrade you. Dreams of a blue planet. And we'll uh, take a look at this. Uh, let's see. Specialization. Let us go with the trade center over there. Okay, so the dreams of a blue planet. Sir, shouts one of the xenobiologists further down uh, the cave. They are. Um, they were located two kilometers below the Martian surface, not far from the edges of the Carmen Crater. The entire cavern formation was only recently. Uh, was only revealed recently after a especially rough quake that followed a comet strike through. Uh, brought down the covering wall. The geological structure immediately attracted the attention of the local science teams because the cave held trace element of a especially important molecular water. Yes, water. Paul Bone, leader of the Mars Terraforming Initiative, followed the call deeper into the cave. A small group of researchers were Crouched near a small tapering pillar, Risp uh, whispering excitedly as he grew closer, he could see the beam of light illuminating a small shallow pool of water covering by an organic, organic looking metallic screen. The biologists were, move, were moving their tricorders again and again. Their in a briming water were a million of fossilized insects eventually the Mars holy crap we got life life on Mars holy shit that's great let's do some more terraforming over here and this will definitely sh uh, shape how Mars is so we want to keep that up construction complete mm. Construction ship has nothing to do again, which is fine. We still lack some food. Star bases are upgrading rather nicely. You are done almost. Uh, Wenek, my poor, my poor man, my friend. You died. Yeah, nothing you can do about it. Um, you are amazing, Imperial Inquisitor. Look at that. And anomaly researching speed. He's maimed. He, he can't do anything. The lifespan's going down. I think he would be brilliant. He would be brilliant as a scientist. And Jonathan Archer is going to get the Enterprise back in his command since he failed as governor. Oh, actually I failed him, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. Is there anything I want to change? So we got 165, which is not too much. But then again, there is little we do need to do. So, we'll wait until we have a thousand, and then we're just going to drop, drop it. Since, well, it doesn't do anything for us. Unfortunately, I, I would really like, you know, if I was working at Stellaris, which I'm not. Uh, we got the Poseidon class, we're going to be looking into that. We got the light cruisers as well. If I was working there, I would have done everything to fix the AI. Before doing anything else, fix the AI, fix the lag in the game before doing DLC after DLC after DLC, fix it, fix the damn AI. Because that is why we're playing this game solo, right? To have fun against an AI. Maybe I'm just complaining. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just a bit, bit sore, I'm not sure. Anyways, with all of this done... What's the time? 9 minutes, let's uh, on pause again. Let's go into ship design. And we got a few new ships. Do we have changes to on any of these ships that we have for such a long as time? We do. Here we go. 
and I would like to get this one going and get oh we don't have enough power it's a science ship maybe maybe I have to do it like this like the evasion is insane 16.5 I think it might be just as it's even higher than with my frigate it does really I'm not sure if I like it I think this is more than enough um let's save you whatever which is fine so we got the multi-mission ship and this looks a bit like the defiant a bit it's been a long time since I've, I've actually maybe the defiant had it on the sides I'm, uh, I'm not quite sure there a medium weapon battery or torpedo barrage it kind of depends what kind of ship are you you're a cruiser no, this is my missile, and this is my anti-missile. We have a semi-heavy hitter, so actually getting you into a medium weapon barrage setup would be quite interesting. We get some. Let's do it like this. Still, the power though, the power is horrible. Hmm. Can we do one more? Uh, we could take a fusion reactor if it actually is very, very badly. I would like to get weapon range in there. Yeah, there we go. Would this be less power or more power? More power. Is there a way to boost power? This is not using power. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of one of those. Um, I'll have to do with this, which is is actually a joke. But then again, we do have medium weapons in here. It, it is good. It has armor. It has shield damage. It has the, um, the cobalt charges, actually. I don't know if I like that. Do we have enough? Because we have eight of those. And this is actually going to cost me... What's the upkeep? Let's save this one. Let's, let's save this. Um, it, as long as it isn't appearing in the upkeep, I'm okay with it. And I actually would change... Let's see. Wow, that's a big ass difference though. Why? So the cooldown is twice as much. So that would go up to 90, I guess. 75, 78. Ec tracking is absolutely horrible. And the range is a lot more. So this is a... is is Definitely you'll fire this from a far distance. But the... Uh, Damn, the tracking, man. It's only for hull damage. And this one does hull and armor damage. Yeah, I'm still going with the, um, the, the, the photon torpedoes. Automatic upgrade, please, yes. All of those. So we need to find a way into the, um, into the fleet. We do need to upgrade all of those ships. So we still have a food problem, and we are slowly upgrading all of the stations, which is definitely taking a lot longer than I hoped. Then again, what can you do? Some of these are almost done, and I'm very happy about that, because we do want to integrate more. So I wonder how this will go. The men bay date is unfulfilled, because Ulf Johnson, the poor man, has died. Ah, the age of dying is upon us. And he was actually changed by Garrick. Oh, and I didn't even notice how bad. That's uh, that's bad. The ruins of Shunga. He's, he's still building. He's still doing a thing. 
he's actually still using the stockpile he's doing a decent job with that going um let's upgrade you into there and this is almost done so it's going to be rough touch and go for a while but i do want to integrate these as soon as possible um don't want to go too into a negative but it won't be for long Since it's almost there. So this is going to be our very first observatory integration. The Kalama Domains. Where, where the hell is this? So these guys. I wonder how this will go. Construction complete. The Denup. Are they called the Denup? Complete. Construction complete. If I go to population, they're not growing. They're the Klaha. Sure, the Klaha. Fine, why not? Yes, I'm losing a bit. Oh my god. Seriously, who died now? Uh, yeah, he already died. Uh, Ulf was now selected as the Prime Minister. Uh, we have busy commanding, so the HF. We have to go. Okay. I have to keep a close eye on this. I do want to see what it will do. Now we're very close. Like I said, we're extremely close here. It should just be at the maximum two or three months. There we go. The Federation membership. The diplomats on Kanab Katos 4 have spent years um, extrolling the virtues of the Federation and uh, preparing the in Skura Klaha people for Federation membership. And today, the day of a signing ceremony, after a ceremony, they will become a full fledged member. That's amazing. There you go. They are a member state of the Federation. And I'd say, welcome to Atsa. Welcome. You are. Are you. You are loyal. That really is, is quite nice. Let's go with the Jiran peoples and we'll go with a high integration since we are now making. A positive again uh, I'd say we want to be boosting this to 10 and we're going to be boosting you to 20 and we're still going on with the test okay even though I think it failed we're still going to do it so member states all over membership of the Federation to all of these species and we're going to be making a lot of influence hopefully this is going to be well it's it's, it's 94 which is okay it's been a long time going this so that's quite nice uh, we did lose one station by the looks of it over here which is a bit of a shame but we'll build one different station somewhere else um and we'll just see we'll just see oh we still have to do this one no they are not enlightened yet a roman star empire okay war deck wait a minute war declaration They're on the Nauseam Tribes, which is over here. Give you a better chance. Come on, you are bloody Give you a bigger theory. stick, maybe. Uh, I don't know. You know what? Let's vote yes. I'd say these guys are extremely dangerous now. And um, our admiral is just anxiously awaiting. So let's send out the fleet. We'll have some fun. Our very first war declared against a very inferior enemy. Maybe we can change his way. Since we are trying to integrate these fellas over here. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that uh, important though. I think this only fleet can already take down that. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be... Uh, too much so let's take a quick look we have unemployment let's um, boost up the capital earth is the ruins of Shanghai man cool let's go with that as well uh, Mars is almost done 35% and let's go with another Martian upgrade yeah I don't care about you man salvage salvage everywhere 
They are over here. They're inferior. We are strong, communal. Yeah, yeah, right. Hmm. Let's see. So many planets already. <laughs> Damn! So much ice water. We got so much ice water. It's insane. Let's get that out of the way. Fleets are going in there. Yes, they are trying to get out, which is fine. Let's see where they will go. No known orders. And they are fighting that one station. We don't care about it. We'll immediately beeline to their planet. Astromorphic lab. The Lyric phases. Gravitational Gemma. Or research. Let's go with the, uh, the cheapest one. I like doing that. I like going with for the cheapest option. You. What we need from you is food. And we should work on boosting all of this up. Because it does give you 25% if you get all of them. Which is still nice. Let's get that going. Just, uh, I was hoping the... Uh, the AI was doing a better job. So, reduce hull. And we have a ship that's going to be retired. Bevan class. New research center. Ooh, let's go to armor hit points. What ship is now going away? So the one light cruiser, and that is our anti-missile boat, I guess, is being retired. So, let's go over that. This one has so much more power now. That's absolutely brilliant. It's a big boost. I like that. It's also a lot of more damage. This is... Uh, we're going into the uh, the Captain Kirk period, I guess. That means that the, um, the Enterprise should get a upgrade quite soon as well. So, let's make sure we, don't, we are changing that... In the fleet. Ah, oh, we can't retrofit them, huh? Wow. I wish that I could just retrofit them. Wow, that sucks. Ah, we do have 2k. It's just a waste of resources going to get rid of them. Okay, we'll wait with that until we get the upgrade for all of the uh, the stations. Need a new... No, go away. So let's get Noon Saloon. Or however it's pronounced. A designated gamer get a level, a house of Morgan, a house of... There, there is just a massive internal struggle within the Klingon Empire and it's not doing them justice at all. So... The Nausean tribes are just falling like flies. And we're just beelining towards their capital. Which is fine. Most of the ships haven't seen action since the beginning of the series. Interesting. And some of the stations are now being close to done. The major capital has been researched. Um, administrative hub, starport. Very nice. Um, actually, very much leaning on... Actually, no, let's get the, uh, the food. We can start upgrading some of these buildings and that would do a miracle for our food production and here we go the second federation membership is uh, is on its way well we'll get more energy welcome to earth sir welcome so so much yeah we're, we're getting there we are very very much getting there factions formed the adams research group um interesting let's see dull edged well great i guess Preserving cultures. 
Embrace divinity? We'll, we'll do that. The boomers. Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh, I hate, I truly hate that. It is a thing. If you're a, my, a minister of some, oh my god, the time. If you're a minister of some country, okay, boomer is definitely not the answer. I will never take you serious ever, ever, ever again. Construction complete. But that's just me. And that's just, just seriously me. That's, I think it's disgraceful. It's, it's just so disrespectful. Oh my god. There we go. Forty-five percent on Mars. We'll do the next, the next time, the next time. We'll, uh, we'll continue because I, I could play this for hours and hours and hours, and I have to really stop myself not going ahead too far. I'm still recording. This is still the very first recording session from. I think this is. What kind of episode is this? Let's see. Yeah, I've episode 19. You can see it. No, you can actually not see the day. 20, and this is going to be episode, episode 21. Here you go, guys. That's it. The end of episode 21. We got the Federation memberships to some of these uh, One Planet Miners. I like that. I would like to do that with the Bajorans and grow the Federation strong and just... Make sure that the Kardashians can't do anything, and eventually, the uh, we all know that the Dominion is going to do a thing, which is going to be quite annoying. Let's get rid of that. Fleet combat is also going ahead. We'll uh, we'll take a look at that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.